Hi everybody, Paul here from Hill Country Rings and had a customer that wanted a M1 Garand uh, ring but they wanted it uh, as an inlay style instead of an overlay this is an inlay style and absolutely we can do that and uh, this is the ring and come on into the shop and I'll show you how we made it. This customer requested M1 Garand walnut on a titanium core but an inset instead of being wrapped around the ring like most of the rings I do this will be inset into a channel in the core and so there's several different uh, measurements that are very very uh, critical in this and one is the width of the core which is 3.92 millimeter so it's supposed to be four millimeters but it's more like 3.92 and then the circumference or the I guess the radius of the uh, inside of the channel which looks like it's 21.3536 so 21.36 millimeters so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this piece of the uh, that I cut from the M1 stock I'm going to surface it make sure it's nice and flat on the lathe flip it over and surface it and bring it down to that 3.9 uh, millimeter thickness and then drill the hole in it get that right and then we'll be mounting this onto the ring so got to mount them together so let's go do that got the wood piece of wood secured in the chuck and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, level off this face put a 21 millimeter forcer bit and now I'm going to drill the hole for the ring or for the ring core and basically bore that out So now I've set my digital calipers to 4.1 just to give me a little bit of slack and see how it comes out on the end that is 4.1 millimeters so I put that in there as a gauge and see I'm going to take it down till that wood is as thin as this little guy sticks out Close enough, and I'll do sanding for. It's close enough, and I'll do sanding for the uh, to make sure I get it uh, just right. And here's what I've ended up with, and it's still a little thick for that groove. So what I'm going to do is cut this out on my bandsaw, 
and then I'm going to hand sand this and check it and hand sand and check it and hand sand till I get this where this piece of wood is exactly the thickness of this channel in this ring. That's going to take me a little while, but hey, that's what it's for. Now for some hand sanding, my favorite part. Just about there. So we've got the wood, the right thickness, so it fits in that groove all the way around. And of course we got the hole to the right size, so it'll fit snug on that uh, the inner side of that groove. Now we just need to take the wood and we're going to break it along the uh, the. Uh, grain so that we can fit it into that uh, into that hole and that's always the scariest part is to get a nice clean break that'll go right back together so let's check it yeah it might need a little bit of sanding I might do a little bit of hand sanding to get it to fit I think we can do that. There is the ring. We've got it all nice and sanded so that wood fits perfectly on that core. And it's basically just two pieces and what I'm going to do is pull it apart, pull it off the ring core very carefully. I'm going to clean it all with denatured alcohol and then we are going to epoxy with the two-part epoxy going to epoxy that ring core into the wood so I'm cleaning, cleaning that wood to get any dust off of it just uh, so we get a really good adhesion I'll clean both sides, both pieces of wood and we're going to clean the core. We're going to mix up our. Then we're going to make sure we got the wood in the right spot, the right orientation. And then we are going to epoxy it in. Sure, got those things nice and clean. And that. That's not the way. That's the way. What we're going to do 
is I'm just going to make a registration mark right here. So if I know those those marks are lined up, then I know I've got it in the right in the right orientation. channel out really good to get any oils or dirt anything that might keep us from getting a good bond all right no more time we'll do it. up our 10 mini epoxy and it's just equal parts of the epoxy and the hardener Just mix it up. And we're going to give it a run around the inside of the ring. This is, it does get messy. Out of the wood. Try to hold that wood together. I guess I can't do that. Do it one piece at a time. Get a good coat. And on the surface where we broke it, that's really important just to make sure that we get that good and covered. Um, that piece is good. Make sure I don't touch where it's going to be bonding. That piece looks good. And now we fit the registration marks together. And we put it on the ring. Make sure we get that good and tight. And there we go. And then Get a little clamp here, and we're going to clamp them together. Not too tight, just nice and snug. So he holds it nice and snug together, and that looks really good. So we're going to lift that. Make sure I got, uh, yeah, I got the, got good adhesion everywhere. I don't have any cracks or dry spots anywhere. We're just going to let that sit for about an hour. Then we're going to come back and finish off the ring. So we've given it an hour to dry, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
kind of round it off on the on the sander before I put it back on the lathe. I want to make sure I don't get a catch in a spot. Uh, I'm gonna get at least sort of rounded-ish before I put it on the lathe, and then we're gonna then we're gonna cut this all down until the wood is level with the with the metal. So uh, let me go ahead and do that. Oh, that looks pretty good. So I have chucked the ring up on a ring mandrel on the lathe and we're going to cut it down to the wood is level with the uh, the metal So we got the color looking like we want it, and now we're going to put a finish, just a clear finish on uh, the ring. We've got it back on the little uh, rotisserie that turns really slow so I can put a finish on it.
Now we're going to do a little sanding, some wet sanding with our little sanding pads. We've got just a variety of grits going from 1500 to 12,000. So we'll go 1500 uh, all the way up. go now we got a really really nice finish let's say it's like a, a like a glass like finish one last thing we're gonna do is give it a quick polish first we're gonna use the Fordham kind of, polish on the inside we have already had some polish on there so it gets it really nice and just mirror oops not that get my this give it a quick polish on the on the wheel to the customer. Hope they like it. So if you would like a ring made from the stock of an A1 Garand or from the teak from a World War II battleship, let me know. Check out hillcountryrings.com. It's a link to my Etsy site. Uh, you can tell me if you have any custom requests or want an inlay or an overlay. Uh, this is the one we just did and this is going out to the customer tomorrow. Thanks, everybody.